Hi, we're going to show you how to build the fun foosball table. This table is 100% made in Italy. All parts are made in Italy, and it's one of the finest machines you can possibly buy for playing the Gettoni, the authentic Gettoni game. Here you've got uh, all types of parts, your bolts, uh, your scoreboards with your caps for your legs, your handles, your rods, which are telescopic rods, and then your actual what we call bushings, and the white parts are actually your balls for playing. So, what we're going to do, first of all, we'll show you that uh, the bushings are telescopic. What I mean by telescopic is that they go in and out. Watch it when you're pulling them out because the one could swing around and give you a little kick if you're not too careful, but I'm sure everybody is. All right, we're going to start with the leg assembly. I typically keep the unit in the box before pulling it out, and away it goes. There is a bag that comes with it. There are the, uh, the bolts and nuts that go with it. We'll just start really quickly. With this, we typically want to take it, take the legs, quick, simple, and easy. We're just going to slide these in, and they lock down like that. There's the one, and then we're going to just make sure we get those. Like I said, the bolts are inside. I tend to just pull this down before we pull it out. And there's a nut on the inside. This nut inside, we're just going to jig it here a bit. Just make sure it lines up. There it is, boom, lined up, and there we're going to put it in. These are adjustable, so if you want them a little higher, it works out really well. So as we get into this, if you'll see here, we tend to need that. We're going to touch that up as soon as we flip this over and we get all the bolts in. This here, we're going to take a small little hammer, we're going to tap these in. These are self-tapping. This means that you'll never have a slip or, or anything, and these won't become loose. In the meantime, we've got in the uh, main bag here. Just take that, you'll need a little, uh, little knife, open that up. And those are the caps. These also, they just simply screw right in, and they also will help you adjust. And if you need a little bit of work, boom, just like that, it's done. If you want to raise them out a little bit, you can also adjust the height, and it's also done for leveling. So moving on from there, Let me line it up. Everybody needs a handy guy like me around. You know, this company's been around for more than 75 years building these.
This we tend to use, I like to use a drill, it tends to work it really quick. Again, because it's self-tapping, hey, how are you? Applying a little pressure on the inside, uh, from the outside in, that'll lock in. It doesn't have to be tight, that's why I always put a little bit of a torque on it, so you can always have that. That is... These are the score pieces for later. Okay, now we're ready. This is it. If you're by yourself, you can flip this over pretty easy. Or if you got two people, this is where we would bring it in. I'm just going to move this stuff forward. And we don't need this. Top pieces. That's why I like to do it on the box. It doesn't slide. There we go. Oh, bam. Caps we're putting on, the ball trays, everything else. The metal parts are already assembled, so you don't have to do any of that. Now, I don't screw these in right away. I leave these off. I put the rods in first because I may want to lift that up. To adjust. But they just slot in like that. Very easy. And what we're going to do... Now, we're going to take a moment because we've got to uh, unhinge all these little pieces. This will be the most uh, time-consuming part of the whole thing. So all we're doing, quick twist, and they come straight out. Half turn. Half turn. Half turn. Half turn. Half turn. Mounting these on, I would put these on. We're going to go back and we're just going to mount these on right now and save a little bit of time. The screw that you want to use has a beveled end to it and it actually can take a Phillips or a Robertson and away it goes. Be gentle, you don't have to be hard on this. And so when you're doing that, this has uh, plastic, it's got a little bit, it might have a little bit of, of, of something. All you got to do is give a little push. It'll line up. And it's finger tight. We don't have to go really all aggressive with it. You can set the screws in already. There you go. 
Same with the outsides. Just finger tight. This is really too big of a machine to be using on this, but we're going to use it because it's the easiest for us. I just finished those off firstly with my own screwdriver. But we're solid. This is a finished rod. It has the handles on. The handles will typically go on last. It's the most easiest way to do it. This is one of the bushings. You'll notice that if by chance it's come off, it's very simple to repair. It's very simple to uh, correct. The pieces go on such as so. There's a little cotter pin and a little rubber bushing. You're going to slide this piece in. You're going to slide the bushing, the rubber bushing in, and you're going to put the cotter pin on, and you're done. Just like that. Very simple. This piece here is then going to be slotted in. Make sure the man is facing outward. You're going to slide this in first. That's why we don't put the handles on first. And we're going to lock it in. That's your first one right there. And we've got bushings that are going to go on. These will go on to the rods on the outers. Lock in. Sorry, hold. So when you're putting these together, you want to make sure that you've got the two flat ends which are going to be your outside for going through where your where your where your handle will eventually go so we haven't put the handle on yet but this will be your end cap that finally comes out because remember your handle will be on there it'll be right here so these just basically plug together equally now what's happening here is that you've got an inner that is actually going to take some of the punishment of the rod going through but this is your inner and you know that because you can match this one with this one which all ties in so this one will go on this side because it's the inside decorative three in there now if you take a look what is up with these there are two closer than the third so when you're doing this you got to make sure that this one's going to be held down and when this rod goes through and we're just going to use this as an example right now that when this here is going up and through to set it we want to make sure that the hole is at the bottom of the least closest together pieces see these two see how far that is we're going to put that down and we're going to lock these in here now this i'm not on that side but it should be fairly easy we just want to make sure it's getting in there. Now, if you don't do this right, there it goes. Perfect. Now, that's come together easily. If this has got any retention or anything, 
That means you haven't put them together correctly. And when you go to put the screws in, you're going to crack it or pop it and you're going to need an extra piece. So just make sure you do that and take care of that uh, little action first. It's really important to make sure that this is absolutely solid. So there should be, if it's, if it's sticking out a bit, you've not done it, we got to make sure that the holes line up perfectly. So if it's sticking out and you've got tension, it's not done right. You want them perfectly flush on both sides. That tells you that this rod is ready and solid. Now on the other end, all you need is the cap right here. Two wide, one low. You want the two at top, you want the one low. Locks in solid. Put the screw in, and then we're going to put that handle on. So in this spot, if you don't have a rubber mallet, or if you don't have uh, um, anything that uh, and it looks gentle on this. You don't have to be too rough. Just start it off. Even a little piece of uh, carpet. We'll put it on. Kind of dusty, but it's going to work. And away it goes. This one here, same thing. A couple of taps. And it's going to be on. Should have used something a little cleaner. There's a bag of uh, your score units. Real simple. If you take a look at them, they're like little building blocks. In the building blocks, there's going to be two that are rather unique. These are where you're going to actually do your stoppers. So that goes in. And there's two sides. You can pick either side. I tend to like the clean side personally, but that one locks in there. See that? because the screw will eventually hold that down. These ones here, you then just want to slide on for your score markers. Or you can build blocks just for fun for the kids. There we go. All done. The last one falls down. Again, I like the clean side, so we're going to move that one. It just locks in, and that's it. These two go in. I'm going to line these up. And you can see where the holes are. They tap down there. And we're going to screw those down, and that's it. You're done.